The allow protocols are not very polite. A user does not listen to the channel before it starts talking. This is why we get such low throughput. CSMA protocols improve this by forcing the user to first sense the channel and see that it is idle before it starts transmitting. So here times is not slotted and we listen to the channel before transmission and transmit only if it is silent. The question is, what happens if the channel is busy? In this case, we have three different persistent models. In one persistent CSMA, we wait until the channel become idle and then immediately transmit. In case of a collision, because maybe two users were waiting for the channel to become idle, then we wait a random time and listen again. In non-persistent CSMA, we wait a random amount of time and try to listen to the channel again. If it is idle, we transmit. If it's occupied, we wait another random time. And then, of course, there's P-persistent CSMA, where we wait until the channel becomes idle and transmit with some probability P, and with probability 1 minus P, we wait a random time and listen again. While CSMA protocols drastically decrease the number of collisions, collisions can still occur. Of course, in one persistent, but also in P persistent with probability P, if two users are waiting for the end of the transmission, they will collide. But in all variants of CSMA, collision can still occur because when a user sends the channel to be idle, it doesn't really mean that the channel is idle. What you can see here is that some user, the user above, is trans start transmitting the first bit. However, this transmission needs to propagate through the network and it doesn't happen in zero time. And if after the precision started, but before the signal reached me, I sense the channel, I will start transmission too and a collision will occur. 